Welcome back to The Tech Coach, and today we're going to be talking about apps on the new fourth generation Apple TV. Apps are pretty much the key to the Apple TV, and as Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, said um, when they introduced this product, the future of TV is apps. I guess we'll have to see what happens in the future. In any event, this new Apple TV um, is pretty cool. There's a lot you can do on it already, but most of it revolves around apps. So as we've seen in our previous videos, which you should definitely check out if you haven't um, seen them already, we've shown that one of the main ways to use the Apple TV is through this app um, screen interface. It's a lot like iOS. We have all these apps and we can scroll around using our Siri remote or our um, phone remote. We have a whole video on those remotes, so check that out. And essentially you can click on any of these apps and jump right in. So here's the Netflix app. So once the Netflix app loads up, we've got all these videos here, the whole Netflix library that we can just watch just to click away. So um, here's you know, a Dave Chappelle comedy skit. We could just click on that takes us to the info and we can add it to our list. We can rate it or we can click and just like that, start playing. Here's the show. Um, there's various controls within it. I could stop it, scroll to any point in the show and take it from there. And from any, from any point, I can just jump right back to the home screen, right back to my other apps. So what I'd like to do is give you an overview of a whole bunch of apps and Let's start with the first app, which is really its own category, the App Store. Just like on the iPhone, this is how we get new apps for our Apple TV and is really a huge key to being able to use the Apple TV because you're going to get whatever apps you want. Um, as you see here, you can buy some of these apps. They've got prices. Um, there's other apps that are free that don't have a price. And essentially, you can just search through the store um, you can get any app you want and download it. So let's just try that just to start out. So here's a solitaire app. It's free, there's no price there. I'm gonna click on it. We go into it and um, we can see some information about this app. We can see some screenshots. I can click on any of these. So I'm just gonna do that. And we can slide back and forth, see the screenshots. Um, we can see the ratings. So three out of 3.5 out of five is not bad. And um, let's say we decide we want this app. There's a get button here, we click on that, and um, do you want it for free? Yes, if this was a paid app, you would need to buy it at this point and put in your password. I'm gonna get this free app, pretty easy. And we're gonna see the progress bar, it's gonna start downloading um, right away. And depending on the size of the app, it'll take a little bit of time. So here's, here's our app, it's three quarters done, it's done, and now um, the get button has turned into an open button. So I'm gonna click on that. That's gonna take us right into this new app for the first time. So here we are, um, and it's a game. I can do, uh, you know, I can scroll around. Here's an ace, I, I can take it like that. Here's the queen. And the way this app seems to work is when you click on, um, when you click on a card, it just automatically moves it to the most um, to the most reasonable place so that doesn't do anything if I click on the two of clubs it takes me it takes me there I click on the jack and so on and so this is a new app we just downloaded it um, pretty simple I'm gonna use my app switcher to go back to the app store and I'm gonna go back and that's really the simplicity of apps and the app store you could also search for any app you're interested in um, or look at the featured apps or the top charts and get a good sense of what there is. Even before you go to the App Store, the Apple TV comes with a bunch of apps in it. So there's the Movies app, which is the iTunes movie. You can watch all sorts of movies on here. Um, and, you know, for example, tons of new movies. Arrival, this is a movie that we actually just watched the other day. We just bought it. So we could play that right from here um, really easily and it's great. Um, and I just saw that Rogue One apparently just came out here, which is cool because I haven't seen it and I'm interested in it. 
and you can watch anything on the Apple iTunes store. Um, really great. So built-in app like that. Of course, it's expensive. Um, there's my photos app. So that's, you know, automatically gets the photos from my, um, my phone. So here's a photo I just took. And um, basically, I was airplaying my phone to the Apple TV and then um, turned on the camera and looked at the Apple TV and it's just an Apple TV within an Apple TV within an Apple TV. Interesting picture. Um, and um, you got all your photos there. Of course, there's also the music app. So I can play any of my music from my iTunes library. While there are a ton of apps, um, this is really just the beginning and we're gonna see a lot more in the coming months and years of what you can do. So in terms of other apps that they have, I'm gonna go by what Apple shows um, on their categories page in the App Store. They basically break it down into seven categories. If you'd like to see more on the Apple TV apps, check out the other videos in this series, which you can find here or in the description below.